Hello, welcome to Bailey's. This is our uh, research uh, and testing facility that we have here in uh, Modesto. It's a uh, our lab that we set up. We set it back up a few years ago because uh, we had to do tests on some equipment and some problems that we were having with corrosion. And so it allows us to go ahead and uh, bring stuff in and we can test it. We put it under the microscope. We also do some tests, some titrations and such forth to see what's in, the, in it. Uh, this facility is also used for demonstration. We have a mini split there and the mini split allows us to uh, show how they work and function, the noise levels. We also have uh, quite a bit of uh, whole house fans. We have one right here and then we have the big 30 inch and directly above me is the uh, uh, quiet cool which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Uh, okay, now I'm going to demonstrate whole house fans, but first let me explain what a whole house fan does. A whole house fan takes air from outside when it's cooler, brings it inside, cools off the house inside, also cools off the attic at the same time and exhausts. In order for a whole house fan to work though, you have to have your doors and windows open. So we're going to open this window up. We're going to open up to about right here, about halfway. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try three of the different fans we have. The first one we have is a Tamarack, which is a 1,000 CFM fan. Uh, it's a smaller fan, and it allows you to uh, uh, move about 1,000 cubic feet of air a minute, which is not a lot. And I'll demonstrate. It's also kind of a noisy fan, but it is our cheapest version. So the Tamarack fan is that one. Now, if you notice, I don't know if you noticed, but these are just barely moving. Uh, if I close the window some more, it'll make them move a little more because uh, we're shutting off some of the airflow, so it's squeezing it through a smaller space. And the streamers are barely moving, okay? And notice the noise levels. I have to kind of raise my voice just slightly. I don't know if you're picking that up, but uh, we'll go ahead and turn it off. And now we're going to go to the uh, Quiet Cool. This is a Quiet Cool QC2, uh, 4200, which is 4200 CFM. So I'm going to turn on low speed. And uh, it's a very quiet fan. I don't know if you hear that, but it's very, very quiet compared to the other one. And it's almost 2,000 CFM. You can see the, the streamers are moving a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and kick it into high speed. The noise level picks up slightly, but we double the airflow. Now we're at 4,200 cubic feet of air a minute. And you can see the streamers are moving quite nicely. Uh, they're not straight out, but they are doing well. From that fan, we're going to move over to our 30-inch uh, whole house fan, which is a standard 30-inch type whole house fan. It takes a big space, moves a whole lot of air. These fans are around 7,000 CFM when they're fully on. At half speed, they're about 4,000 CFM. So we're going to put this one on low. And you'll notice the streamers are moving quite a bit more. We have quite a bit more breeze. Actually, I think this is about 5,000 cubic feet of air a minute. I have to actually open the fan, the window more, so we can allow the air to move in better. I'm going to kick it on to high speed. The noise level is it's quieter at low speed than the Tamarack, but it is noisier than the Quiet Cool. However, on high speed, it's uh, still noisier than the uh, Quiet Cool, and it's it is noisier than the Tamarack. But now we're moving over 7,000 CFM of air a minute. Uh, the streamers are holding straight out. That's bringing nice cool air from outside and it's exhausting all the hot air out of the attic at the same time. So this is, this is what you should use. These work real well on houses over 2,000 square feet. Uh, and this one I suggest you do. And noise level, do what you need to look at. Come into our showroom. You can listen to them. You can play with them. You can see how they work and I can demonstrate it for you.